Hi, I'm Jennifer from jenniferray.com. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the five elements according to traditional Chinese medicine. So the theory of the five elements is a really foundational concept within Chinese medicine. Basically, the ancient Chinese yogis and physicians and sages, they look to the natural world in order to understand patterns. And then they use those patterns in order to understand states of health and disease. So the five elements could be considered dynamic qualities, cycles, or patterns. Watch the video to learn a little bit more about the five elements and their corresponding seasons and energies. Through observing the natural world, the system of the five elements was created. So each of the elements is a phase in a cycle, and each of the elements is a place where energy changes direction. Now all elements are connected and some elements nourish each other while other elements control one another. So elements also have corresponding sounds and smells, flavors, they have corresponding internal organs and meridians and emotions. There are many relationships between the elements. So for example, the element of water is the most yin. It's slow, dark, and cold. Whereas the element of fire is the most yang, it's fiery, bright, and fast. The elements can generate one another, they can control one another, and they can even attack one another if there's pathology. Now, why is this important to us? Well, we can use this knowledge of patterns in order to create more balance in our body and mind. We can also use it to attune to the natural cycles around us. We can see these cycles and start to understand them by looking at the cycle of the seasons. So usually the five elements is represented in a circular pattern with each element preceding the last. Now before I go any further into the individual elements, do make sure to check out the blog post that's associated with this video where I've included some extra resources and links where you can learn about the individual elements, especially if you want to bring it into your yoga or meditation practice. So for our purposes, let's start with the water element, which would be right at the bottom of that circle. The water element is a time of rest before growth. Its energy is downward moving and it's related to the kidney and the bladder organs. So this is a time of deep potency and stamina. This is the time of winter time. So this is time when energy is really stored inside, just like plants store their energy in their roots during the winter. Next comes the wood element, and this is the time of springtime. It's a time of growth and expanding out. It's related to the liver and the gallbladder, meridians and organs, and it's really related to birth and new beginnings, to creativity, direction, and vision. Next comes fire and, of course, summertime. So this is a time of also expansion and growth. It's an upward moving energy, and it's also related, of course, to connection and joy through the organs of the heart, pericardium, small intestine, and what we call the san jiao in the Chinese system, which actually isn't an organ in the Western system, but it's still important in the Chinese system. After that is the earth element and what we usually call late summer. This is a time of balance and the earth element is considered more neutral. It's a time of nourishment and stability. So the earth element is related to the spleen and the stomach and the digestive function. Not only digestion of food, but also digestion of thought and experience. And finally, the metal element and the season of autumn. This is a declining state. It's a contractive energy and it's related to the lung and the large intestine. So these energies are related to taking in inspiration and letting go of what no longer serves us. As you can see, the system of the five elements is a really holistic view of the body and the natural world. Now do make sure to keep learning if this is something that interests you as this video is just scratching the surface. You'll also want to get over to jenniferray.com and sign up for my mailing list and that way you'll continue to get videos just like this one to aid in your learning. You may also be interested in some of my courses and you can find those at jenniferraycourses.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.